always have a minute. It's not like great news. It's this like Fashion World account. Fashion World? Yes. What's the matter? Like, they are with all my emails, my calls, anything for the attorney. I, it's like a nightmare. I don't know what to do. Okay. How big is this retailer? Well, they have like 50 stores in 12 states. So they're kind of big, you know? So they have bought a lot of our personal products, like the most expensive products we have in this company. Any accessories, suits, watches, everything we have over here. That new that new women's line for the fall. Yeah, exactly, about. yes. They're like Purses and briefcases. Yeah, everything you have like since the last six months maybe. Yeah. Okay. That is strange. Um, let's see your file here. Yeah, this is my files. All their phone numbers are disconnected. Yeah, I tried to contact everyone, like even the purchase manager, the AP manager. I can't even contact the CFO. I don't know what to do. And what happens? They give you the runaround? Yeah, I would get the runaround every time I they ask me for help. I have not luck even that. Okay. Uh, what about collections? What did they say? Well, they have closed about five stores, but they're still open. But look at this, it's like, it's terrible. It had like 54,000 in yeah. 120 days and maybe 80,000. 50, 54,000 in 120 days. Yeah, and also like $80,000 in 150 days, it's like. Mm -hmm. Okay, now another thing I noticed most of these clothes were shipped before Christmas. What's their uh, inventory turnover ratio? 3.25. That's nothing. Exactly. That's, it's not, that's it's like, not that uh, bad. That's like paying in 20 days. Exactly. Like, we get them 60 days to pay. And they, they get it and pay it in 20. Uh, I don't know. Uh, does collections talk to you? Because sometimes... Sales and collections need to work together sometimes. That's probably why they called you. Is they probably put them, you're not able to sell any more to them because they're shut off, right? Because they owe too much. I think we should go visit them. What? Do you mean go in person? Well, there's a lot of advantages to visiting a past due customer in person. A, you show that we, we still expect to get paid, that we're serious but we still want resolution. And uh, if you go in person, you can see the condition of the stores, the condition of the office, to see if our assets or merchandise are still there. And sometimes it just wakes the customer up. So why don't you get the rest of their file and their um, yeah, so I will get all everything like the invoices, the purchase histories, orders, the payment histories. Purchase orders, everything. Invoices, payment histories. We need to take a printed payment history. And um, hopefully we'll resolve this today. I hope so. Well, uh, let's prepare go get and everything go to visit the company. Even if we have to go sit in the lobby all day, maybe we'll get a check today. Oh, this is a nightmare, but what we should do. It's right. our last option, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's just one of the things you'll learn in our new credit and collections program. When and how to go visit the customer. Sometimes it's a surprise and it's an effective tool and you'll reestablish the relationship. So, more next time and have a great day, everyone. There's a vocabulary list that will be in your inboxes from the script today. Have a good day.